Rainfall and runoff from the Appalachian Mountains feeds the Tugaloo and Seneca Rivers, which converge to form the Savannah. From its origin, the Savannah River flows 381 miles to the Atlantic Ocean and marks most of the border between Georgia and South Carolina. Along the way, Corps of Engineers Savannah District projects on the river serve communities by providing flood risk management, water supply, water quality, hydropower, recreation, fish and wildlife habitat, and downstream navigation for commerce. The Corps coordinates water management efforts with the state's resource agencies to balance the needs of upstream and downstream users. This multi-purpose, multi-agency approach, as authorized by Congress, requires the Corps' Savannah District to manage the river basin as one system, balancing water resource needs along the entire route. The Corps maintains oversight for three reservoir projects along the Savannah River, which are co-located with three peaking power plants. As the name implies, these peaking power plants only generate electricity when consumer usage demands it. Located just over seven miles from the Savannah River's headwaters, the Hartwell Dam and Lake remains one of the nation's most visited core projects with 10.1 million visitors annually, comprising nearly 56,000 acres of water with a shoreline of 962 miles Guests at this multi-purpose project enjoy the public parks, marinas, and campgrounds surrounding the lake throughout the year. The power plant originally operated four turbines, but a fifth was installed in 1983 to meet projected power demands. 30 miles downstream from Hartwell lies the Richard B. Russell Dam and Lake. This multi-purpose project boasts an undeveloped shoreline which provides an exceptional outdoor experience. The Russell Power Plant is the largest core power plant east of the Mississippi, operating with four conventional units and four reversible turbine units. The reversible units perform like conventional turbines during power generation. However, when electricity demand drops, the turbines have the unique ability to reverse direction and pump water back upstream, making it available for the next period of peak demand. Continuing down the river, you'll find the southernmost dam and lake, the J. Strom Thurman Project, which encompasses an incredible 1,200 miles of shoreline surrounding 71,000 acres of water. 22 miles northwest of Augusta, Thurman Lake is the third most visited core project in the nation and receives some six million visitors annually. This peaking power plant generates energy from seven turbines. Combined, the Thurman, Russell, and Hartwell Reservoirs support the commercial and residential water needs for several counties and cities in close proximity. Meanwhile, hydropower plants generate more than one and a half million megawatt hours of low-cost, renewable clean energy each year, which is marketed to public and private utilities by the Department of Energy's Southeastern Power Administration. People aren't the only ones who benefit from core projects. The Savannah District installed two oxygen injection systems upstream from the Russell and Thurman Dams. They improve the dissolved oxygen content and supply fish habitat with cool, oxygen-rich water. The communities of Augusta and North Augusta depend on water supply from the river for commercial and residential use. The city's water treatment capacity is currently 34 million gallons per day, and the distribution system covers a service area of approximately 24 square miles. The Savannah River is home to one of the most primitive of fish species, the short-nosed sturgeon, which remains on the endangered species list. The sturgeon spawn in early spring just below the new Savannah Bluff Lock and Dam. The Corps partners with other natural resource agencies to improve the understanding of in-stream flow needs for short-nosed sturgeon. 
Operations of the reservoir system will continue to adapt as monitoring of the fish improves our understanding and needs of the species. Continuing our trek downstream, the Vogel Nuclear Power Plant, located near Waynesboro, Georgia, requires water from the Savannah River to cool the two operating reactors. The plant will consume greater quantities of water since construction of two more reactors is underway. Several other large industries along the Savannah use water from the river for a variety of reasons depending on their product. These plants bring thousands of jobs to the local economy. Besides the larger companies, small seafood businesses work closer to the harbor. They count on the routine channel maintenance provided by the Corps to safely navigate their boats and collect their haul. The Floridan Aquifer lies below the region and is another source for water. However, heavy withdrawals from the aquifer have put a strain on wells near Hilton Head and Tybee Island. The region must increasingly turn to the Savannah River to provide water for growing populations. The river also feeds the Savannah National Wildlife Refuge, home to more than 29,000 acres of freshwater marshes, tidal rivers and creeks, and bottomland hardwoods. The refuge also supports a diverse wildlife population. The Corps of Engineers serves as the operations and maintenance agent for the Savannah Harbor, keeping the shipping channel dredged to its current authorized depth of 42 feet. Deepwater ports and inland barge terminals along the Savannah River bring $61.7 billion in revenue to Georgia, while South Carolina receives $4.3 billion in annual sales. The total Savannah River drainage basin area covers more than 10,500 square miles along the Savannah River. As you can see, this water resource has a direct impact on hundreds of thousands of people surrounding wildlife and the environment. Water resources are carefully monitored and only natural resource agencies from the states of Georgia and South Carolina can authorize withdrawals from the river. Simply put, the water belongs to the states, the Corps manages the containers. The Corps of Engineers takes this responsibility very seriously by balancing the Savannah River Basin from its headwaters to the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs>